All right, let's let's do another rant here, guys, on Gerard the Completionist, the, this scumbag, right, who takes 600k and thinks that he can get away with it because he's got some friggin' neck beard on his face. Guys, shave the neck beard, look at his real face. You're never gonna believe a word he says. That's it's a strategy that marketing does. You gotta grow a neck beard to be more believable, be more mature. Really, this guy's a scumbag that probably creams his pants when he gets to any kind of vicinity of some e girl at some game convention. So I see that there's some friggin' audio leakage here and I'm gonna do a play-by-play -play on this audio leak I have not listened to this audio leak before I've not prepared for this we're gonna do a play-by-play -play like friggin NFL Super Bowl here we go the last thing I want to do is ruin the legacy of my family of my mom and her memory oh my god again with the my mom this and my mom that and my mom this guy my guy, a lot of people have their moms pass away. We're not going to harp about it for the next 20, 365 days, 24-7, on and on and on. And this scumbag says in the audio, the last thing I want to do is ruin the reputation of his family and his mom. Hey, they're not the ones getting ruined. Your reputation is getting ruined, all right? So stop trying to divert our attention to your, your mom that's passed away. Yeah, rest in peace, but you don't have to freaking use it to your advantage every single time to talk as a defense mechanism it's scumbag it's a scumbag thing to do most people when they lose their mom right they lose their mom fine you know you go through grievance but then you have a spiritual connection to her she 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 appears in your dreams she appears those times when you're meditating she appears those one moments in your thoughts in your head you're not gonna friggin make it public every single time for everyone to hear okay we know it's a defense mechanism all right stop acting like a cuck and grow the hell up especially because this is such a personal thing for the last 25 years of my life. Um, okay, no one grieves. You know, I, no one friggin' grieves for 25 years when they're friggin' uh, someone passes away. You grieve for one or two, then you move on, then you get mature as a man, right? You grow as a man, you you use all the things and memories you have of your parents, and you use that to better yourself as a person. This scumbag thinks, wait a minute, I can use this to friggin' hoard $600,000, which actually devalued. I know he donated it now, but think of how much that $600,000 would have been worth like 10 years ago. That's a lot more after Cootie's 19 and you got friggin' inflation up the yin yang. You got people losing their houses and you got this guy hoarding 600000 deciding to friggin' uh, donate it now after he's been caught. Which means that if he's never been caught or this Carl Jost, this endless legend, never actually brought him up, this he would have never, he would still have hoarded it. Who knows how much interest it was collecting? Who knows how many friggin' ice creams and friggin' McDonald's meals he was stuffing his fat face with? We don't know that, right? But only after all this released, then he decides to friggin' donate the 600000 It's a scumbag move, all right? Let's continue on. I'm not trying to be like, do you guys want money to help me hide this? It's not this is at all. That's probably exactly what you're doing. You're probably exactly, you know, it, uh, under the scenes, you know, behind the scenes, under the table. You're trying to virtual signal to get them in their head. Wait a minute. This guy, uh, Gerard, is trying to, uh, you know, who knows how much. If this guy's willing, if this guy's willing to say that, who knows how much money he actually has? My God. I wish I was well off like him. But no, scumbags like him that are in the upper 25% of society in terms of wealth, because so, people like this, they're just so greedy this want to get even more greedy you have people like me that come from nothing that have to work their way up that know the struggles of life and you are you know, talking about this guy who's just hoarding greedy over and over and over again i hate people like this and sh freaking shave your neck beard you prick i'm just asking from a humanity perspective of like if i am the target of this i have 20 mouths to feed 20 mouths to feed. Ooh, wah, wah. Keep crying. Keep crying, Gerard. Keep crying, Gerard. We all have mouths to feed. We all have bills to pay. We all have things to do in real life. You know what the thing is? You have it easier. You have it easier than the rest of us, and you're still complaining like a cuck to friggin' Carl Jotes and that other guy, Mustafa, or whatever his name is. I don't know. Okay? So that's the thing. This guy's like, to, uh, get humanity into the... Yeah, we, we're all humanity. You know what humanity is? Donating that 600000 in the beginning. That's humanity. Giving that money away and not being a cuck freaking in behind your live stream streaming uh sea of stars 24 7 and freaking thinking to yourself wait a minute humanity maybe i should donate that money hey humanity hey there's this thing called karma in the world that comes to collect when you do things bad maybe i should freaking um 
donate the money. Oh, humanity? Maybe I shouldn't lie to the stream viewers and say that we're donating it right now. You said in your apology video that you want to be, you were mistaken for being, uh, uh, you, you hate yourself for not being transparent. Well, guess what? Humanity should have kicked in there and you should not have lied to humanity. You're talking about humanity now. Meanwhile, you lied and trolled humanity in the past. What a scumbag. Let's keep going. I have sponsors. I have a business. I'm trying to make video games. I'm trying to get out of content creation so I don't have to worry about YouTube anymore. He has sponsors, he has a business, he has this, he's making games. This guy is so well off and people like us who are friggin' the middle class or lower class trying to make it up there and this scumbag wants to decide to hoard another 600 grand. What a piece of trash. I wish I was well off like you, Gerard. You know what I would have done? I would have been smarter and friggin' managed my money more and thought about, hey, Th things like this, like uh, stealing money and hoarding money and all that stuff, this is going to come back to bite me, especially you, you prick. You have a freaking father that runs an annual golf tournament. Hey, I wish I had a parent like that too that was well off, that could run golf tournaments. Yeah, it's pretty difficult when you have immigrant parents trying to wake it in this world. Unlike you, you scumbag, you have everything given to you with a silver spoon. Well, in your case, because you're a fat gut, you have a big spoon to shove your fat face with more freaking Fruit Loops, you prick. All right, I hate people like this that cry wolf after they've been caught when they're already well off. I don't like it. I don't like these type of people. And justice must be served, you moron. And, and do better things in the world. And I just know because of my track record of things like G4 exploding, me being friends with John Tron when he was a racist, uh, you know, I've been a part of like, you know, pro Jared, like you should be, you should be grateful that you're friends with these high class YouTubers as well. Who knows what kind of cool things you guys did together. You guys went to game cons. You guys went to amusement parks. You rode the roller coasters, whatever it was. I don't care. You should be grateful. Now you're using it as a defense mechanism, victim card. Like, oh, I was friends with these guys that were blasted in the past. Who cares? You have nothing to do with those guys, right? You don't have anything. Pre we're not saying that just because you're friends with these guys, you're part of them. That's not the way it works. We're saying that there were 600 grand that you were donated in total and I, and I hear in your apology video, unregistered uh, donations, registered do donations, unregistered donations, right? You can use that for any expense. Yeah, I know what expense that was used on. It was used on food, fast food in particular, because you haven't lost weight since the day you started, you prick. How about picking up a friggin' celery stick and hiring a friggin' gym trainer with all that money you hoarded, you idiot? Pulling one yeah. thread about the charity thing is going to upheave my entire life in a way that scares the living crap out of me. You're damn right, because when you deal with people's emotions and try to friggin' get donations out of friggin' harping on people's emotions, you're damn right it's gonna come on. You don't do that, all right? You don't do that. I know you're, you're on your little high horse there, sheltered with your life, right? I know that. Okay, but come into the real world. Try friggin' trying, um, try you, uh, harping on people's emotions in the hood. Why don't you come to the hood and try to friggin' scam 600k there? You'll get your pockets checked real quickly. I hate people that don't grow up in the real world, know what it's like to struggle. They're on their high horse and then they friggin' go on and they go on YouTube crying on the internet. Gerard, you're literally crying on the internet right now to two other men in a Discord call. You piece of trash. And I don't want to go home tonight and tell everyone, hey, there is a gigantic thing coming to claim my career and you all have to close down and find somewhere else to do. I yeah, that's exactly what you're gonna do. Why? Because you got little daddy who's running annual golf course uh, tournaments to friggin' take care of you. You're still well off. You got a little business going. I don't even know what that business is and I don't even care what it is. What are you opening up a franchise of McDonald's? I don't care what your business is. I don't care what games you're working. You, you, you stream these garbage shovelware indie games that no one cares about. I, by the way, have won tournaments in Marvel versus Cap Capcom 3, I've won tournaments in fighting games. I know what it is to be a gamer. I know how hard it is to practice. I have played retro games. I friggin' play piano music of retro game songs. I know everything about retro games. So you're sitting there friggin' streaming or shovelware garbage indie games, getting donations. Wow, that's very easy, right? I wish I had that friggin' convenience to do. You know, this is shitty me to say this. I'm not trying to ask for sympathy or anything, but this kind of stuff. I mean, I've been following your guys' stuff for years. The stuff with Billy Mitchell, Carl. You are asking for sympathy because in every one of your videos, you start off with saying, I had a tragic loss with my mom. A lot of people have tragic losses with their mom. You're not the only one and not everyone uses it to their advantage to play victim card any chance that they're called out. Okay, you're a scumbag. I don't know where you learned these tactics to how to be a cuck online. 
stuff that you've done, Mudo, with tons of content creators over the years. Like, mm-hmm. there's no nuance to this. People are going to see this, and they're going to immediately go, that Gerard guy who's been nice to a bunch of people actually isn't very nice overall. Fuck him. Let's get rid of him. And yeah, let's get rid of him. Why? Because karma's coming to collect. Guess what? You're not you're not indestructible, all right? This is why the internet is the internet. I'm not indestructible either. You listening right now are not indestructible either. When you're on the internet, right, and you're faced with a bunch of smart people from all vast different types of backgrounds, they have vast different types of university or college degrees, whatever the hell it is, that's a lot of smart people. And guess what? The majority of people think you're a scumbag and you're going to have to deal with it. And there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet.